Hi hi! Welcome back! Today we're playing Star Rail again. Um, we're gonna stack stronger since I have uh, 24 uh, green tickets. I'm gonna pull twice, <laughs> just because I can. <laughs> Let's go! I can't see my sticky. Okay, fine. Okay. I don't use them, but I think I have a her E2 <laughs> or something. Fine. Thank you, I guess. It's better than nothing. Okay. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> oh. Okay. Show me what you got. Just... <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness. It is for erudition. I did want to... <gasps> she has a lightning scar or a, like birthmark. If I didn't see it before, I'm a loser. <laughs> Why didn't I see it before? Anyway, I really, I really wanted to use Serval more. Ooh. Okay, very cool. Whoa, since when? <laughs> oh, maybe it's because I, I collected the, the level 25. Um, reward. I mean, I don't use her, but I guess I start. <laughs> okay, so last time we did the trial of equilibrium, and um, Bronya actually went ahead of us to talk with her mother. But hmm, it's probably if not there's good. Nothing pressing. Let's take a walk. Okay, give me a second. I think this is plot. Sophie, can you receive this message? March 7th gave me this little thing and taught me how to use it. Well, it seems you can teach an old dog new tricks after all. <laughs> it just takes time. I kinda know how it works by now. Nice to have something that lets me talk to people without meeting them face to face. Haha. <laughs> you learn quick. <laughs> He's a professional texter. He texts better than me. <laughs> I'm flattered, Coffee. Now let's cut to the chase. Sure. I heard Natasha is seeing a lot of patients and hasn't slept for days. She's the backbone of the underworld and we can't afford to ever burned out coffee. I know you did a great favor for her recently, but can I ask you to check on her just to make sure she's alright? Oh, not pl not plot actually. No problem, no problem, I'll go right away. I'm not going right away, but I'll go right away. <laughs> yes, a companion quest. I think. I have a lot of those, I'm gonna do a video just for them. I knew I could count on you the first time we met. I was not wrong after all. Thank you so much, of course. Um, we, we, um we're not, we're not, ooh, wait, pom pom. Um, something doesn't feel right on the express. Like, there's something I can't see. Uh huh. Come back and see, come back and see me when you have time. This one. I have time right now anyway. Come back this instant. If we don't solve this, the express won't be moving an inch. Um. Okay, it, these are all missions, but I'm just going to see Pom Pom for the rewards. Hello? Whoa! Never mind. I guess we're doing quest. What happened? Did they have a fight? Um. Yes, baby. Oh my god. Ask the conductor about what happened. Mom. I'm a bit scared. <laughs> oh, good. Mom. You're here. Where is the strange thing you were talking about? Pom Pom doesn't know, but it's in the express. No one knows Akivili's express better than Pom Pom. There is something strange in here. Pom Pom can feel it. Sure. Help Pom Pom look for it. We have to find it! Okay. Maybe another time, Pom Pom. We have to find it! Okay, but just give me my rewards. <laughs> and I'm gonna find it later. Yay! Yay! Yes! Chris, the, the stellar grades! That's what I wanted! Give me more, Pom Pom. Oh, another ticket! Yay, last one! Ooh. I got one of these! Oh my god, yes! I have all of them now! At this point of the game? Really? Damn, he's gonna kick- Ooh. 
He's pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's very pretty. I, I was already gone when the collarbone happened. I was trying to be discreet, but fuck that. <laughs> Am I right? Okay. We're actually doing... Actually doing plot now. No take back tease. All right, I am Bronya. Let's go. Okay. Zilla, you ready yet? If you want to keep wasting time, I'll just go on ahead by myself. It literally took me one second. Calm down. <laughs> what? Still something you want to talk about? All right, let's make it quick. Did Bronya say anything mm, to you? Not much. We just chatted a bit. Girlfriends. Care to elaborate? I can tell something's waiting on your mind. This one. Uh, is it that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> I made a promise to Branya that if something were to happen to her, I'd rescue her myself. We're going now. Let's let's go. Looking forward to this journey. Mm, I didn't really give it much thought, but traveling with you bunch does always lead to unexpected surprises. Hardy combat and exciting adventures. Not bad. I certainly don't hate it. If you said goodbye to everyone, well, it's not like of course. We're never coming back. <laughs> you didn't see the look on Joshua's face. Oh. He could barely hold back his tears. Cute. Chief Oleg. He didn't say much, but I know he's not the kind to wear his heart on his sleeve. It was my choice to go up, and Natasha supported my decision. Besides, you could use another person who can fight, right? Right. It's up for now. <sighs> Alright. Then let's cut the chat and move out. Oleg first, and then some. Ah, young lad. I wanted to see you off, but you know how things are around here in the underground. Solve one problem, and three more take its place. <laughs> I will miss you, sir. I'll miss the way you talk with your mouth closed every time. Hmm. Something you wanted to ask? About you and Natasha. Natasha, trust me. In her eyes, an ex-military officer was more suited to be the leader of the organization than a doctor. Bullshit! But the most important thing a leader needs is a strong heart. An oh. ability to unite everyone toward a common cause. In that respect, no one in the underground comes close to her. I love her so much. Um, I heard you came from the overworld. <laughs> I was actually once an officer of the Silver Main Guards. After being discharged due to an injury, I followed my old lady here to the underworld, where I planned to retire. But as things would have it, I ended up busier than ever. Do you have a wife? Do you regret it? Do you miss the, the old days in the overworld? Do I miss it? If you're talking about the time with my comrades in arms, of course. But other than that, I don't really prefer it over life in the underworld. Damn. I didn't expect the Olego lore to eat this hard. What's next for Wildfire? Wildfire's already made it through its darkest days. With Natasha's leadership, we have the confidence to lead the Underworlders to a brighter future. Mm -hmm. And much of that is thanks to all of you. You are welcome, babes. Fortunately, Svarog turned out to have some useful information for you. After all your hard work, I'd feel quite guilty if you left empty-handed. <laughs> I hope you can work together with him right now. He antagoni antagonized them a bit just because his calculation proved that their objective was not fruitful for him. But now we kind of fixed that. So maybe they're gonna be friends. Well, you still have a long journey ahead. I have no doubt our paths will cross again one day. Till we meet again, friends of Wildfire. It's so going to rain. I'm sorry for the lighting. I rely like 50% on the light from the window and today is pretty cloudy. <laughs> so um, my poor little lamp is doing a lot of work. You can see it in my glasses. I can't do better than this, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, my friends, are you ready to head out? Ready. Let's go. Hold on, I have a question. Ask away, my friend. I have all the answers you seek. Thank you. Tell me about Gepard or Gepard. What else is there to say? 
you know him as well as I do. He's an upstanding guy as well as uh, young, handsome, and charming in his lack of charm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I please ship them too? <laughs> I am. Um, 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 listen, look at this man and tell me he doesn't look like he's bi. I don't believe you. <laughs> if you tell me that it doesn't look like he's bi, I don't believe you. <laughs> If you're here at this point, you know I am a shipper to the bone. <laughs> this game kind of, this game and my cousin playing it with me, um, kind of reawaken the fangirl in me. <laughs> I didn't fangirl this hard since I was in middle school. <laughs> and it's been a while! <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not very close to him. After true. all, he's an officer and I'm... True, true, true. The opposite. Selva. Oh, she's quite extraordinary. The renowned rebellious Landau girl. She once had a bright future, but after getting on her leader's bad side, she lost her job. What she was her ended job? up opening a workshop and playing underground music. What was her job? Her leader? Who dared? <laughs> I heard that her old man was furious and that only a few younger siblings are still in contact with her. Oh, they have more siblings. I love her even more. She's the runaway rebel daughter. Love her. I used to go to her sometimes when I had any mechanical problems above ground, but for uh, various reasons, I don't visit her workshop much anymore. Tell me about the furnace core. It's a passage connecting the underworld and the overworld. A big stone spiral stairway. You know, I don't understand the architect's obsession with making these steps when there is such advanced technology available. Wouldn't an elevator have been better? Uh, it's easier for you youngsters. For this old guy, the steps of the furnace core are a nightmare on the knees. <laughs> are you are you as old as me? I I am guessing they all you they all look so young, but I think the main crew, the main babies, might be around twenty. So is this old man? mid-20 to 30 and does that mean I can simp even harder because we are in the same age range? <laughs> um, tell me about yourself, yes, that's what I want to know. You haven't heard enough about me, huh? <laughs> All right, my name is Sampo Kaski. I'm a businessman who stands up for justice in his free time. And no, I don't have it in for you. Oh? That's all? If you don't have it in for me, then why aren't you telling me more? Motherfucker, I love him so much, but he makes me suspicious as hell. Well, my friends, are you ready to head out? I don't like that he doesn't disclose shit. Like, I talked to Oleg right now when he told me his life story. I'm about to finish probably the plot of this planet, and I don't know shit about him. <laughs> I'm so... It's kind of... It's suspicious. I think uh, my big, 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 big theory, uh, very alfast, uh, is that this man is gonna come back some way because this character is too like left. Uh, it, they didn't say anything to me about this character. I just know he's suspicious. He's a businessman, <laughs> and uh, I'm. S I. It's kind of sus. That's not how you do storytelling. I hope I'm right because I really like him. Anyway, let's go. Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Okay. Oh. Mother. Oh, I have returned. Her face. Rania, I thought, I thought I'd lost you. Oh. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. Oh No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, Mother. I I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. Kokolia really seemed worried. If I were Bronia, I wouldn't have the heart to have a Nash conversation with her right now. She's so much stronger than me. <laughs> the underworld. Ooh. Oh, I see. Ooh. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. 
<laughs> Sorry, you saw my face drop. I don't have to say anything. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. She just dropped it. I'm listening. Go on. She's, lo she's losing her shit. Madam Kakolia. It is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. They are both uh, wearing their masks uh, like this. Uh, like Bronya is being all diplomatic and all formal, and Kokolia is being. Uh, is in garden mode. <laughs> she ca called her with her title and not just Ronia. That kind of made it better. <laughs> uh, I, at this point, uh, it's easier to talk about this because it's just a report. Mother, Ooh. you've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Oh. The responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance. I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. Mm -hmm. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the... the... Enough! E <sighs> Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint me, Bronya. I expected it, but I also didn't want to be right. <laughs> you merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg, and now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum, and suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders? Bitch! At least explain yourself to her if, he, if she's not understanding th something. Just tell her what she's missing. Guards! Take Bronya. Motherfucker, that's your daughter. They are not scum. Tell him. Tell him with your goddamn heavy egg <laughs> earrings. My entire life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. Oopsies. This time. This time, I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Yes. Why do you send the Silvermane Guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I knew this I moment see. would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Yes. Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? I mean, what? what I mean, <laughs> what is the truth? Yes. Is I am ready. I'm scared. Mother. Then come with me, Branya. I don't trust you. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. I so don't trust this. Huh? Huh? Ah, we're finally back! Yay! I forgot what fresh air tasted like. Um, 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 um. <laughs> um, where do we go now? What flavor is it? Aren't we missing something? <laughs> I want to be stupid for a second. Will Danhan be mad at me? <laughs> <sighs> Freedom. <sighs> a cold. Actually, let's go. <laughs> I love her so much. Where 
here's our next stop. We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel again. Mm. Classic unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. He just dropped us. Motherfucker, why does he always do that? Um, we should hide in plain sight to the hotel? No, I have flashbacks. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Let's find Landau. Home is where the artists go back to the express. I think this one. The bro or the sis? This is talking about Chapard. No. We should be careful. Yes. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Yes, we go to the sister. If she is so headstrong that even Sampo is scared, uh, then probably Japard won't uh, even uh, raise a finger on us. <laughs> Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. Echo. Echo. Fuck. Italian sleep off. <laughs> so you think we should avoid Japard for the time being? Absolutely. Right? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. True. Mm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Serval's workshop then? Hmm. But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little... new. Culture shock. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. The overworld and the underworld. We've... we've been cut off for so long. Oh, you're not dressed for snow because it's kind of hot down there. Should I... can I give it a coat? <laughs> I'm okay. Let's go. Okay. I trust you. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. <sighs> Might have something to do with us. Um... The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. Oh... Right. This is a dead giveaway. Okay. Whoa! Um, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Give me a second. Over here. Ooh, where the steps are. Of course, of course. Let's go. Act casual. Come around and have a look. If you don't look guilty, they can prove shit. Who is Doesn't... it? Shop's closed today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Doesn't help that her shop is literally in front of a, <laughs> a very dangerous place for us. It's the radiator fixer. <laughs> Uh, it's a big customer with bigger pockets. <laughs> this one. Not interested. <laughs> I need time, not money. Serval, we That's came very healthy. here before and helped you fix a few things. Remember? That's very, very healthy. <laughs> what? Ah, I remember. The three outsiders. Wait, why are you still strolling around the city? Do you know the Silvermane guards are looking all over for you? He said this. When I talked to her last time for a daily quest, she said this thing, and she, she she kind of like told us not to be around here. She was looking out for us. That was very cute. Quick, act natural and get inside. Don't get spotted. Yes. I'm sorry. All right, you'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing, and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit, exactly? Pretty. They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city, and everyone's in a panic. I'm very sorry. But also, you're so fucking hot. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm fine. Let's chill. Oh, we just... Not yet, March. Mm -hmm. Rania said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Mmm, then honey, you found you found someone you can't logic your way around. Because my god, I love it. okay. 
Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. Oh. It was her that ejected me from the architects. I refuse to stand with her. That is the leader. Mother freaker, why? <laughs> what happened? I need the lore, okay. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Get distracted so easily because she's so pretty. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Mm -hmm. Besides, I know the architects. And if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. Do you know Kokolia well? So what detail what details have you been pondering? Do you dislike Kokolia? This one? <laughs> you could say that. Oh. We were like sisters once. Inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the Supreme Guardian. Are they the same age? These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. I have something to say. <laughs> um, sometimes I get on my TikTok for you page um, Star Rails memes. I, I usually scroll because I am scared of spoilers, but sometimes if, I, if they look vague, vague enough, I look at them and I send the funny ones to my cousin. I saw a meme <laughs> where <laughs> there was a sound uh, where it said rating my teacher by the principle of uh, if they uh, fucked my mom or not. <laughs> and like everyone was like uh, 10 out of 10 did not fuck my mom except MC who was like 7 out of 10 uh, almost <laughs> went cl got close and then he, there was Serval who was 0 out of 10 <laughs> and I sent this to my cousin and she was like that's a bit spoilery and I was like it was <laughs> but I guess they are shippable <laughs> <clears throat> if I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. Mm -hmm. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> cute. She's so cute. Okay. We may as well tell the long and short of it uh, from start to finish we may as well cut to the chase and make a long story short this one oh i'm the best storyteller let me let me okay i don't trust you <clears throat> <laughs> perhaps i should do it mm -hmm. or we'll still be here tomorrow <clears throat> telling several about your time in the underworld and what you know about the stellar and i didn't finish reading so that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. <sighs> After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, <sighs> I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, I was researching the Stellaron. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Oh! Come on, I'll tell you everything. She was a researcher! Yeah, boy or girl. Hello. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Svarad, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics mm. I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kokolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. 
Yikes. How much do you know about Estelaron? Do you know what Cocolia's end goal is? Can we talk to Gepard? I First figured one. out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the Architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. So it was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. She didn't even do shit. They just ejected her for existing near the topic. Kokolia. It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm... It was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior, and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Thus, sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation, and the real Kokolia has already vanished. I think you're close. I think that's what the Stellaron does when it gets into the Guardian's mind. I think this is foreshadowing. Is she being compelled by previous generations of Guardians to make <clears> such <throat> baffling decisions? <sighs> Who knows? But this might make for good songwriting material. And I think you're right. Why did they just tell me this <laughs> through a character? Maybe they're Maybe they want me to think this is right? I don't know. I can't get into the game's mind right now. <laughs> Can we talk about Jepard? Yes. <laughs> Jepard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. Too lawful? Like he just follows the law? Doesn't matter if it's, good, if it's uh, right or wrong? For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Mm. Though, I'd need a strategy first. Tell me what you need. Do you know where the stellar ring is? Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. Ooh. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellavog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. We must locate it as soon as possible, ideally before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? There's no plains. Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. A, a whole heap of Fragmentum. Correct. And it's different from the underground towns you described. The Fragmentum there has quite literally torn everything to pieces. There's no sign of life, despite the monsters. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the North. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brain waves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great! Phew. 
It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. Sorry, the wind just closed my door shut and I got scared. <laughs> That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. Okay, as much as I want to finish uh, Velovog storyline right now, I don't have the time and it's also about to rain, so I have to do the rounds and close every windows ever if I don't want us to drown. <laughs> so this is it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!